Where the easing of restrictions comes as North Carolina's key COVID-19 metrics have been trending in the right direction over the last several weeks. You can see it here on this chart. We've compiled using data from the state's Department of Health and Human Services. It shows daily cases peaking shortly after the holidays and generally trending down since then. Hospitalizations and positive test rates are also down. Today's action is a show of confidence and trust but we must remain cautious. Now is the time to put our strength and resilience to work so that we can continue to turn the corner and get through this pandemic. WCNC Charlotte's Kendall Morris joins us live to break down the local impacts of today's announcement. Kendall, this is the first time bars can open indoors in almost a year. Yeah, Fred, you know, places like Jeff's Bucket Shop can now stay open and serve alcohol until 11 p.m. with capacity restrictions starting Friday night. Now, business owners I've spoken to are cautiously optimistic this is a move back toward normalcy. Stove, work table. There's a new kitchen at Jeff's Bucket Shop. We had to buy, you know, pots and pans and utensils and a fryer. The venue was licensed as a private bar. But as the owners watched news conference after news conference, the space remained shut down. Private bars were left out in the cold. And we kept thinking and procrastinating putting that kitchen back in that it couldn't possibly go this long. And it did. It now serves food and has a mixed beverage restaurant license, able to open at 50% capacity and serve alcohol till 11 p.m. starting Friday. I might not look like I'm doing the happy dance, but I am on the inside. I'm just, I'm in shock. I'm just in shock that it's actually happening. Dilworth Neighborhood Grill rolled with the punches of the pandemic, filling takeout orders and adjusting seating arrangements. But the owner says the alcohol curfew at 9 p.m. put a damper on business. There's only so much creativity that you can do, uh, you know, closing at 9 o'clock. So. This is gonna this is gonna be a big thing. The restaurant announcing on its noteworthy sign today, alcohol sales moving to 11 p.m. Alcohol is a, is a a bigger profit driver than the food, so we're looking forward to that. Business owners looking forward to restrictions being eased. Should anything happen again, then you know we're prepared for it. But bracing for what 2021 could bring their way. And this new executive order goes into effect at 5 p.m. on Friday. Live in South Charlotte, Kendall Morris, WCNC Charlotte.